What is up? Now, I didn't need to do a video of this caliber. I didn't even want to. But what made me decide to is the fact that after almost three years of being a Twitterer, they suspend me for the fifth time, except for the first four times they locked my account and told me that it would be restored to fully functionality in, in some sort of time. But this time they suspend me for the exact same reasons that they locked my Twitter account for such and such a time the four times before. Because I have the balls to tell the very troops that no Democrat will ever want to hear. It's essentially ridiculous it's all kinds of ridiculous it's all kinds of obscene and quite frankly I'm pretty sure in fact I'm entirely confident that Twitter is run by Democratic Rothschild appointed genocide spreading terrorists so I decided to send a support ticket their way and this is what I said and I said it without absolutely any regret whatsoever and I know that they're probably going to choose to permanently kill my Twitter account that I've had for, for almost three years but this is what I have to say and keep in mind I'm an altist on the lower end of the Asperger spectrum they're supposedly supposed to be normal people without any illnesses whatsoever with all the money in the world but anyway, this is what I had to say. I said the following. Though you'll most likely choose never to believe me when I say it, Twitter is run by a bunch of Democratic Rothschild backers led by Twitter CEO and founder Jack Dorsey and Facebook founder Mark Zuckerberg, also known by his lesser known name Jacob Greenberg, which is his true identity given what I've heard and seen about the Facebook creator's true name, considering how unquestionable it is. And their main mission is to completely exterminate all conservative Twitter accounts. Case in point, they suspended my account because I have the balls, just like I've said earlier, to tell the troops to the social media masses in ways that everyone can understand and relate to and because of that they have unsuccessfully attempted to silence me on five different occasions between March of 2018 and last week. The fact of the matter is as simple as simple can be. The people running Twitter are the same people who want to rig our electoral system and collude with various spying businesses such as Fusion DPS and fake news sources like CNN because they are completely incapable of accepting even a basic fact such as one and one or two or the rain in Spain stays mainly on the plane because they never were taught that in their schools because their schools were run by Rothschild. Of course, I didn't add that part. I chose not to add that part, but I added that in there in verbal sense to stress the importance of this. So, in other words, and I say this without any anger, but also with utmost confidence that Twitter's administrators are deliberately committing terrorist acts by shadow banning its conservative fan base. And I know that's what they're doing, too, because I see it every day. The same fan base that helped them 
its founder Jack Dorsey, and the entire administration that runs Facebook under the supervision of one Mark Zuckerberg get to where they are now due to the fact that we have tirelessly supported the administrations of both, ba of both Facebook and Twitter for the last 12 years only for them to shamelessly and very ungratefully shove it in our faces and sell us down the river to a democratic party that has now become the modern day equivalent to Hitler's Third Reich, albeit a much more politically motivated one than many could ever imagine. Needless to say, my Twitter feed, be it unsettling as it is comedic and satirical in its irony, consists of countless truths that simply must be seen for what they are because they are absolutely, without question in almost all cases, believable in every sense of the word. Yeah, my theology is completely messed up, but unlike every single democratic politician, despot, terrorist, hate group member, or member of a dynasty such as the Clintons, Bushes, Obamas, Rothschilds, or otherwise regarding that sort, my theology is messed up for all of the right reasons, especially as my allegiance is with God, the value of the American will, and all things constitutionally Republican. Had I not voted for Trump in 2016, you people, meaning the administration that runs Facebook and Twitter, would never bat an eye at the truths that I have since come to display. And in the nearly six months since all of this began, you want to silence me because I actually did the right thing for once by voting a constitutional citizen of the United States into the Oval Office, which made up for the mistake that I made when voting for what I thought was the lesser of the two evils in 2012, namely Barack Obama, and needless to say, it was the biggest mistake I could have made at that point, despite having rebounded perfectly when I did what I did at the polls four years later, meaning when I voted Trump in 2016. In conclusion, I say, despite my respect towards your company considering your authority over all of Twitter, that I am not only another casualty, it seems, in the ongoing war against conservatives, of which I am one of them, undoubtedly, but a teller of truths who should be accepted as someone who works daily to be the solution that I was created by God to be. And no, I'm not Jesus Christ, but I'm as close to him as I can get, and that's good enough for me. And as long as God allows me to tell these truths and as long as I have a voice box through which I can tell these truths that's all that matters to me so given that I'll say this much I'll say this much more whatever decision you come to and agree upon is what you decide upon but if you plan to continue being a part of the problem for continuing to silence the same conservative fan base of yours, which has tirelessly helped your product become what it is now since it was founded and launched in 2006, then your product is inevitably going to become nothing more than a failed experiment by your despotic puppet masters, who, might I remind you if I haven't already, are the same puppet masters who are pulling your strings and making you dance like marionettes. And with that, alas, I have very photographically pointed out the problem, of which I leave it to you to find a solution for. Thank you. Now, who in the hell wouldn't believe that? Who would not read that and say, Wow, I think we must have got the wrong guy here. He's clearly a God-fearing Republican who understands life. Maybe we should unsuspend him? But the people at Twitter won't do that. Because they have no morals. They never had any morals to start with. And quite frankly, they never will. Because Democrats never change. 
and never will. I got your attention, didn't I? Yeah. So there you go. No foul language whatsoever in that support ticket. All truth. Kind of like the happy time MERS. No sesame, all street. Let's go to another segment on our episode of Talking to Myself News, huh? And by the way, welcome to Talking to Myself News. It's just not easy. It is also worth pointing out that I posted a deviation celebrating the death of Senator John McCain. Keep in mind, when I use the word Senator to describe John McCain, I use it to describe how corrupt a Republican he was. Because corruption isn't just in the Democratic Party, it's also in parts of the Republican Party too. Quite a few of them at that. Several people who I'm friends with on DeviantArt decided to take that too seriously and they wanted to defend the guy and this didn't sit well with them because they probably couldn't handle the unfathomable amount of truth there was in it despite being a very simple picture of Senator John McCain which I borrowed from a screenshot from the Fox News still frame and I gave a source to it in the description of the original still frame. So I argue with them for a very brief little bit about it and I don't even try to argue either I just point out the facts to them as they needed to be pointed out as they're pointed out to anyone in general who wants to accept facts. These people want to say that I'm disrespecting him despite the fact that if they looked at my Twitter feed before I got shadow suspended earlier tonight, they would see that I was in fact celebrating the life of John McCain, the admiral, the soldier, the military man, not John McCain, the politician, the senator, the Democrat in Republicans clothing. So, Here's how I sum the whole damn short ordeal up right there on one plate. And I submitted this about an hour ago, so I'm going to read it to you in plain English. Listen carefully. For whatever reason imagined by anyone, I posted a very honest description and deviation regarding John McCain, the Senator. Senator in all caps stressing how important his position was. I trusted myself to submit this deviation as I trusted those who would view it to look at it from a fisheye lens and take it with a grain of salt, which is what a couple of my friends didn't do, apparently. The two in question grilled me on how I showed an unfathomable disrespect for the recently deceased senator, at which point I gave a very perfectly valid reason for that and was completely honest in my reply, no less. Though the two know who they are, and I'm not going to mention them as it's not necessary, I didn't point them out in the status update, and I'm not going to point them out now, because they know who they are, and I trust that they know who they are, because they know who they are. One of them went full-on savage, and straight up social justice worry on me and showed one's own true colors and one's own rage meaning this person used one's own emotions to put on one's own sleeve at which point I decided that my having been completely honest was not going to solve this a bit so I did the only thing I believed was necessary at that point and blocked said person and I plan to unblock that person next month, 1st of October. Meanwhile, the other person who took my latest deviation too seriously suggested that I delete it 
Though we came to an agreement on the undisputed fact of how decorated and persistent John McCain was as an admiral, without hesitation, I took my friend at my friend's word and quietly deleted said deviation. For obvious reasons, which I'm sure by this point many of you who know me or have seen my DeviantArt page or seen my page earlier tonight before I deleted that picture in question, are aware and know of presently. The bottom line is this. Many people are completely incapable of accepting truths because they wear Rothschild and Rockefeller on their sleeve, and as much hate as this will garner towards my person, that's the God's honest truth and nothing but. Nobody can tell me different except for God. And the only way he can tell me different is if he tells me through his actions and through his showing me what life is about that either I need to change my story a little bit or in general I'm just plain wrong. The former and the latter would basically mean the same thing. So, at the end of it all, I respect everyone with the same profound respect that I would have for anyone else. But that doesn't mean that they have the right to use my respect towards them to verbally take advantage of me. And quite frankly, if I'm wrong for saying that, what's the point in being right? That was my status update an hour ago in a nutshell. Which proves an old tired point. People are completely incept they're pro they're completely incapable of accepting facts. You know? And you know, I'm I'm I usually don't express this kind of anger, but at least I know how to control it well enough. The only problem is when I'm angry or passionate about something, I stumble about my words a bit. When I'm certain about something and I'm in my element, of course, I don't stumble my words around as much as I do when I'm angry or passionate or strong about my feeling towards something. Try and sink your teeth into that one, huh? It's time to go to the... <laughs> Passing a $1.5 trillion tax cut for the wealthy, Trump says federal employees shouldn't get a modest 2.1% pay raise because we must maintain efforts to put our nation on a fiscally sustainable course. Hashtag Shameless. Says a man who sucked an Islamic Kenyan's concessional penis for eight years, Chris Lou. Seriously, sir, do you ever use your brain for anything more than a pet rock? Wake up or shut down. You're calm, my friend. We must have pork free menus or we will leave the United States. I heard that Venezuela and Korea are perfect this time of year. Why don't you just move there? We must have pork free menus or we will leave the United States. Have you started packing your suicide bombs and vest yet? Chicago's finest with a tweet. Of course, I'm not going to show you the video because it's much too graphic for anyone to handle. Unless, of course, you're used to seeing that kind of shit, at which point, of course, I'd see it to you. But this woman kicks her baby, her own daughter. I came up with these genius tweets. When the truth is enough to kill you, but you refuse to accept it and confirm that you're just as much a Babylonian hellhound as the woman who kicked your baby. The dangers of taking a South Park one liner literally can cost you your life in ways that you would never expect. Hashtag Get the baby! It's funny. The people who recorded this, or lack thereof, are just as guilty for that baby possibly being killed by that whoremonger than the whoremonger herself. 
So, you see something, say something, and murder the hell out of the suspect mentioned, no matter what happens. This is why we have presidential pardons, people. Especially if the president is someone like Donald John Trump. Palmer Report. Everyone at Enrique Franklin's funeral hated you. Donald Trump just ripped the pieces and ready to find this good one. That's because the Democrats are sucking the same Rothschild dick that you suck 24 7, 365. Say Palmer Report. Is Barack Obama and a donkey the only kinds of pussy you can get? Or better yet, are you one of the Clinton dynasty's appointed rapists pretending to play a journalist on TV? Unbelievable. And by the way, a third follow to this tweet that was posted by Chicago's finest. If you vote Democrat, then you deserve to die the most excruciating death ever conceived. Except this time, it'll be Rothschild's doing, and you will be the only one to blame. Because you let it happen by fucking voting Democrat when you could have voted Red instead. What's it gonna be? Vote Red? Or suicide by stupidity? Your call, guys. By the way, by the way, you know what's so funny? The funny thing is, when a Democrat calls a black person a nigger, they get rewarded for it. When I call a Democratic black candidate like Andrew Gillum a nigger, I get suspended. That's funny, isn't it? Andrew Gillum offended by the term monkey. Well, in that case, how offended will he be when he hears the word nigger? Because that's exactly what happened to him. He got nigger. Meanwhile, our friend Bad Ombra Smitty says that 89% of Trump supporters probably don't have an education beyond high school. See, this is why I block people who vote Democrat. Because they are the problem and they need to be disposed of properly. And here's all the replies that I could muster in one piece of paper. First of all, my response. Well, 100% of all Clinton backers probably don't have an education beyond preschool either. Funny to think about, but also damning in its historical accuracy, considering many of them have a master's in bullshit from Harvard or Illinois University just because they're jackasses. This guy responded to Bad Armor Smith's comment by saying, My dad is a doctor with multiple degrees, owns a practice and a laser clinic. I'm an entrepreneur and have worked for myself for over seven damn years. We both support Trump. Basic statistics prove that your assumption is not only wrong, but bigoted. You're a gross human being. Jaquishian with an epic response to Bad Ombre Smitty's obviously democratic comment. Implying your worthless gender study degrees and learning about 78 different genders in more six universities make you educated? Most people who go to college for non-STEM fields come out dumber than they went in. And they pay money for it! That's what I'm talking about. Abracadabra, motherfucker! Okay, last reply to Bad Ombre Smitty's obvious comment. Oh yeah, you just pulled that right out of your anus. <laughs> talking about. Trump just saved taxpayers $25 billion on Thursday, and Democrats lost their shit! Please vote red. Please? Please? My friend Laura Loomer on Twitter says, Good news! 
The FBI arrests the five New Mexico Islamic terror compound suspects days after multiple charges were dropped. Lock them up forever, please. They shouldn't even have lawyers. They are literally terrorists. Deport! And of course, I respond in the only way I know how, with as much brutal honesty as I can muster. So I say, Rather than have them locked up at a cost of $50,000 annually, I'll pitch one better. Have the U.S. Armed Forces and the Marines, Navy, Army, and Air Force shoot them all six ways to Sunday until there's nothing left breathing or alive. We only have $20 million to go after all! <laughs> and then, of course, another friend of mine on Twitter, who got suspended, yet I will trust him. Yet will I trust him at Elegit Noss said, No, they have to have lawyers, or at least be offered. We believe in justice, not kangaroo courts, all due process, and no, they should not simply be deported. They've been arrested, and I assume will be charged, then it will be quite a while before deportation. Of course, I come up with the definitive reply, and I say, Illegal immigrants don't deserve trials. They've been caught entering America Barack Obama style. They don't deserve lawyers either. Apparently, President Trump uh, does have a magic wand. Abracadabra, bitch. Ah! <laughs> okay, now, okay. Let's, let's take a look at this. Remember in November. Mueller is up Schitt's Creek without an oar. And speaking of oar, Bruce Orr was the fourth highest ranked administrator in Obama's Federal Bureau of Investigation and was a back channel for Steele and Fusion GPS to the FBI. His wife worked for Fusion GPS, so that's how I know. Bruce Orr listed six others involved in the dossier collusion involving Mueller's top DOJ agents and FBI deputy directors. He has still not been interviewed by Mueller because obviously he's a Democrat, and not one Democrat attended the meeting! Bruce Orr's wife worked for Fusion GPS, making up a big dossier that the FBI knew about it, but didn't do jack shit. And the Orrs were compensated because of a dossier that they knew was bullshit, but they fabricated it anyway because it's all about the money. Now, Bruce Orr testified that the FBI knew Steele, who was the writer of the fake dossier, was bias upon bias on top of bias within a bunch of bias towards Trump. Or testified that the FBI doubted the credibility of the Trump dossier before they presented it to the FISA court. Beto O'Rourke is a drunk, people. Pass it on. How do I know this? Because he got arrested after fleeing the scene of a drunk driving crash. Pope Francis is a fag. Pass it on, people. Have you not figured that out yet? The entire Catholic Church of clergymen are full of gays and homosexuals. And Maxine Waters, busted by the loyal Trump supporters for illegal financial dealings, and is in big trouble with the FEC along with Kamala. I like to fucking use my belly as a drum kit, Harris. Up shit's creek with that in order. Now my friend Trump Girl for Life says, the Mueller witch hunt is on life support. I respond with a definitive answer for saying, it's not on life support, it's a still point. But everything else you said is pretty damn spot on, so great job. And don't even get me started on Ron Howard, because he lost all credibility when he came up with that tweet, which is why I blocked him. <laughs> this, this this episode of of Spot the Liberal <laughs> is brought to you by. <laughs> <laughs>
apply directly where the Democrat hurts. Of course. You gotta have something to go with that second fucking shooter. That fucking shotgun. It's also been brought to you by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting, which is paid for by suckers like you. Now, get out of my channel if you're not an active liker. If you don't like my shit, why are you watching it? Seriously. If you're not a liker, you're a leaker. Seriously. Don't watch my shit if you don't like it. <laughs>